Hi, my name is Stuart Birch. I work at Nottingham Trent University and Nottingham Contemporary have put together a fantastic exhibition all about Alfred Kubin. He's an Austrian artist and I think he deserves to be much better known in the UK. The show focuses on uh, his early period, so that's at the start of the 20th century and there's loads of graphic works to look at and the exhibition is called The Other Side and that's not just a chance because that's the title of a book that Kubin wrote. So he was an artist and illustrator but he also wrote a novel called The Other Side and it's a weird and wonderful book and I'd recommend you read it. It's a journey into, well, it's a place, it's the dream realm, the city of Pearl but it's really an inner journey into the subconscious and Kubin's subconscious was pretty murky. He had a rather dodgy start to life. His mum died when he was very young. Um, he had a very complicated relationship with his dad. He uh, was apparently abused by a pregnant woman when he was still a child. And he went on to drink too much alcohol and attempt to commit suicide on his mother's grave. But rather than turning away from all these dark things inside, he actually approached them and he went over to the other side and tried to open up his subconscious. And with the exhibition, there's lots to see, but I want to focus just on this one work because it's called My Demon and it's a self-portrait. So this is Kubin there. He's got his little quiff there, like some kind of demonic tinting. And coming out of his head are these two bodies that are naked and everything's wrong in terms of the man's the woman and the woman's the man. So the genitals are switched. So the woman has a penis and the woman man has a like this phallic thing and it's growing out of his head but as you look down you can see that this is the other side this is the dream world coming out of Kubin's own head as he sat at the bottom racking himself drawing away trying to capture these things that are going on in his head now what he wanted to achieve with that is as he said he wanted to have a secret contact with you with the viewer because he wanted his pictures and the things that he did with his subconscious to have an impact on yours and to make you realize that all those things that happened to you and to me when we were young, all our hopes and fears, they're in us and they influence who we are today and we shouldn't turn away from them, we should try to think about them and use them creatively and the exhibition is a fantastic example of what you can achieve if you put that to good use.